Hey guys, welcome back to Roundtable Talk where I dissect, analyse and review the latest releases as well as some old classics. Back with another edition of Music Monthly where I go through the best music of the month across all genres. You'll find a Spotify playlist of all the music that I talk about today in the description link below. So if you are interested in listening, uh, please do you know head over to Spotify and have a listen. Before I do start going through the tracks, um, please do remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video and uh, follow me on all the social links below. I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's dive into the first track. Um, the first track uh, is uh, Lil Baby, uh, The Bigger Picture. Obviously uh, a track released um, due to the uh, tragic events uh, surrounding George Floyd and in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, a, a really powerful track that shows what uh, Lil Baby is actually really capable of um, as an artist in, in my opinion. Um, a, a really, really strong hook, really powerful lyrics. And Baby just continues to show uh, glimpses of what was shown on his uh, most recent album, which was a bit over long, but regardless of that, was a, a really, really strong project from him. So yeah, I'm excited to see more from Lil Baby. Obviously, you know, I, I don't want him to be talking about these serious topics all the time, um, but tracks like uh, Emotionally Scarred on his album and this one, The Bigger Picture, are definitely my favorite type of Lil Baby. Um, so yeah, I just hope to see more of that um, on, on his next project. Next track is uh, a Luna George with uh, a track called Warrior, produced by uh, SG Lewis. This is a huge pop single. Um, a Luna his voice, um, her like smoky, uh, seductive vocals fit so well over uh, this type of, uh, I guess, darker dance music. But this is a real dance floor filler um, with uh, a definite sort of menacing edge and what vocals that make it really stand out uh, amongst sort of mainstream pop slash dance. Then we've got uh, Teyana Taylor with uh, a track called Made It, uh, produced by Kanye West. Um, this is from uh, Teyana's most recent album called The Album. And again, uh, as this seems to be the trend these days, the album is very, very long. Um, and there are lots of different gems in there we found, but this uh, Kanye produced track is just like vintage uh, Kanye production. Uh, all soulful samples and just yeah just so smooth and I think Kanye is just a, a very underrated uh, R&B producer uh, as well as that but um, yeah just uh, my favourite track for, from that record. Next is the closer from the latest uh, Run The Jewels album called uh, A Few Words For The Firing Squad. Um, do head over to my uh, full reaction to uh, the latest Run The Jewels record. Um, just um, an outstanding piece of work and that last track along with another one called Walking In The Snow just feels so urgent. Um, Obviously, uh, Killer Mike and LP are, are fantastic MCs, but I feel like the production on, on the outro was some of my favourite that uh, Run The Jewels have ever spit over. But as, as I said, please do head over to my full reaction to see my uh, full thoughts on, on that track. Then we've got the new Georgia Smith single uh, called Rose Rouge. The track's not really anything new for Georgia in terms of sound, but definitely feels like real soundtrack music um, with her, you know, soaring vocals over uh, live instrumentation. Again, giving it that sort of live band feel, which um, I always, always personally enjoy. Then we've got a new track from uh, Irish artist Jafaris called Glue. This track's a, a really pure blend of uh, melodies, incredible flows and really good wordplay. I particularly like the, the jazzy piano and the way that that uh, works in tandem with uh, the quite experimental drums that you get on this track. But yeah, uh, an artist I'll definitely be watching out for, for more of his work. Then we've got uh, Wale with uh, basically an interlude uh, from his uh, latest EP, um, which is a, a pretty solid EP uh, in full really. Um, but the, the interlude was, was, was my favourite of the track. Not too sure why, um, as it's a little bit left field. It feels uh, quite like a, a jam session. The track's called um, Shit Don't Stop um, and sees uh, Wale sort of singing in, in an off key kind of way, but feels uh, like, like a captured live performance um, and uh, like a jam session that they just threw on the record. But again, just feels very fluid and seems like Wale stumbled upon a, a really cool melody uh, as well during that session. So yeah, yeah, just enjoy that track. We've got Anderson Pack uh, featuring J-Rock uh, with a track called Lockdown. Um, obviously uh, referencing uh, all of the things that are going on in the world at the moment. And um, it's impressive how um, Anderson Pax manages to make such a serious topic um, so groovy. I would say though that the, the highlight of the actual track um, is a, a, a poignant and uh, just really uh, outstanding uh, verse from J-Rock um, which unfortunately is missing from the uh, streaming platform version of this track. I'm not too sure why, but yeah, check out check it out on YouTube. Um, really, it's just a, a great verse. Perhaps one of uh, J Rock's best, which says a lot, I think, uh, when you think about all of the uh, incredible guest verses that he's had over his career so far. 
that we've got uh, the collaboration between BJ Banton and uh, Pharrell Williams called Cherry Pie. Um, just a, a really fantastic mix of you know Bougie Banton's island sound with that sort of Neptune style of production. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for that sort of island feel to any kind of music with like steel drums and that sort of tempo. Um, but I think the, the harmonies that Pharrell's using on this track as well are, are really, really impressive. And then we've also got um, a new track from the fantastic new uh, Jessie Ware album. Um, this track's called The Kill um, and it's just her ice cold vocals over uh, this really dark tribal sound. A little bit reminiscent of um, the track Pray For Me um, by uh, Kendrick Lamar and The Weeknd. Um, and yeah, that kind of darker uh, sound uh, that The Weeknd was doing uh, around the sort of Starboy era. Um, the Kill really reminds me of that, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say it's the, the standout track from that record for me, um, but the, the entire album really is, really is one of the best albums of the year so far. Then we've got Heim with a, a track called Gasoline, um, a, a really just heartfelt song with a really uh, amazing hook. Um, I, I like when Heim uh, do this kind of restrained folksy sound, um, and I think it really works well on, on this track. Speaking of uh, folk music, um, uh, Phoebe Bridges released a new album called uh, Punisher. Um, my favourite track on that was uh, Garden Song, a cute uh, folksy piece uh, with a sort of warbly guitar, emotive vocals, and you know, just pretty much standard uh, Phoebe Bridges fare, but you know, still a, a great track. Also, uh, a, a new uh, sort of Lucy from uh, Toro y Moi, um, where he's covered a, a 60s song uh, called Ordinary Guy. Um, just a, again, just a really smooth piece of work um, and pretty much anything that Toro releases is, is fantastic and uh, this is no exception. Then a, a new great record from uh, Black uh, called uh, Elephant in the Room, um, definitely my uh, standout track from uh, his latest EP. Um, uh, my problems with the EP were that it felt a little bit samey. Um, but uh, this track uh, definitely experimented in terms of the production, definitely felt like a, a lot more layers. And sees Black lean into the sort of passive aggressive, uh, heartbroken uh, side of himself that, that I much prefer um, than his uh, love, love struck uh, music, I guess. Um, and I just really enjoyed the expansive sound of this track. Then a new track from uh, Spillage Village called End of Days. Um, real, real outcast vibes um, on this record. Um, I think the group is. Uh, pretty much a super group formed of uh, people like Earth Gang, JID, uh, as well as a few other guys. Um, and yeah, um, it is a, a fair bit of uh, outcast worship, I, I guess, but um, still doesn't take away from uh, how enjoyable the track is to, to listen to. And speaking of Outcast, um, Big Boy um, has released uh, a new track, um, I think uh, a lead single from uh, an upcoming album featuring regular Outcast collaborator uh, Sleepy Brown. It's got a really sharp piano, um, some smooth vocals from, from the ever reliable Sleepy Brown. Um, and yeah, it definitely feels like a, a teaser or a prelude um, to uh, a new record. I could definitely see this being the, the intro to um, Big Boy's uh, new album whenever he does release that. And then an all-star collaboration uh, from uh, Campbell Fat, Yanis um, and the band Foles. The track's called Hypercolor um, and is a, a fairly intense um, dance record, um, but um, I, I feel like the, the track's fairly generic uh, production um, is uh, given a, a real, real gravitas by uh, the lead singer of, of Foles. Um, and that's probably why I like the track. Um, I'm a huge fan of Foles. Um, and I just feel like the mix here shouldn't quite work uh, as well as it does, but as I say, it, it really does. And then the last track that makes my list uh, for this month is a, a new track called Favourite Place uh, by John Legend. I'd say uh, John Legend over the years has lost a, a lot of the, the grit and the soul that I liked about him when he first came out. Um, his music has gone uh, very, very uh, pop, um, especially in terms of production. It's almost a bit too clean, a bit too sleek and lacks the, 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 the edge and, and the pure soul element that he used to have. And this latest album uh, is uh, a fair bit uh, too mainstream pop for me, for my personal taste. Um, but this track uh, was definitely the standout. Um, it's a touch darker, a touch, uh, you know, more, a touch more sexy, I guess. But yeah, I'd much prefer it if uh, John Legend kind of went down uh, this avenue with, with later projects. Um, but the amount of money that that man's making off of um, you know huge pop wedding songs, I can see why he does what he does. So yeah, those are my favourite tracks that I've listened to um, over the last 30 days. Um, what's been your favourite track this month? Um, do let me know in the comments below. Um, and as I said before, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and, and like the video. It does uh, really help in terms of growing the channel. 
as I also said at the start as well, um, please do, um, if you are interested in listening to any of these songs, if you have missed them, um, please do uh, check out the Spotify playlist below. Um, it will have all of these uh, arranged into a, a playlist that hopefully uh, flows quite well. Um, but all that said, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, subscribing if, if you've done that and for taking the time to, to watch this video. I hope everyone is staying safe, staying well, um, and I will see you for the next one.